degree, class D felony, criminal mischief, first degree, class D felony, assault, first degree, class D felony, attempted murder, two counts, class D felonies. I have entered a not guilty plea for you, section for preliminary hearing. That's Shannon Gilday in court in Madison County, Kentucky, accused in that home invasion. Uh, and again, his mom had posted and written that he was obsessed with the imminent nuclear war. And others have talked about he was looking for a bunker. And that home had a doomsday bunker. I asked Dr. Carol Lieberman, psychiatrist, about all of this. Take a listen. It is most likely that he's having his first break, a schizophrenic first break, where when he hears the news about, you know, the threats of nuclear war and so on, he takes it much more seriously. Perhaps he's hearing voices that are telling him, you know, you have to go find some place to hide, you have to go find a bunker. Um, perhaps he's just, you know, it's just, it's just the stress of that. And the feeling that he has to do it quickly, like this is imminent. I mean, that's what the mother said, that nuclear war is imminent. He talked about the CIA following him, she said, and so on. So when he saw this house advertised, and it was advertised as the most secure home on the market, um, he, you know, thought to himself, that's where I need to be. And actually, somebody called in a tip to the police. And they said that this, that his car was missing and that he showed off this, um, uh, the ad for the house. And he said that he'd kill everybody inside in order to get to the bunker. So when, when people have some kind of a mental illness, they perceive the 24 hour news cycle a lot more drastically and do a, a lot more drastic things um, as a result of it. Posted all this on social media, getting your take, your reaction. Our 13th juror comment of the day is Uma, who says, it could be harmful, meaning the 24-hour uh, news cycle about war, but so many things in life, but so are many things in life. However, there's a button on all devices called power. It gives one the power to control what they see and hear. And if someone is exhibiting signs of mental illness and can't, then it's the obligation of their family to take control and get them some help. Um... Nima Romani, you think this is going to be part of this trial? Do you think it's going to be what we're all experiencing now? It may have had some sort of impact on his mental health. Well, I think it's going to be part of the trial. It's going to be not guilty by reason of insanity. That's the only possible defense here. But really, what's the solution, Vinny? What's happening in the Ukraine is critical. We all need to know about it. You know, and well before this, we're you know we're following the doomsday cult couple that thought the world was ending. Mental illness is important, so there's really no easy solution here. Eckler Mercer, your thoughts? I mean, we, we saw people storm the Capitol. So, I mean, and I said it again, because it, like, <laughs> you know, uh, like the group think, the, the, just how media is just pushing, like, the imminent destruction of the world, how, how people are digesting this information, we don't know. We don't know what's happening in their minds. But I'm curious to see how this trial is going to go and how the defense is going to present it. Kirk, you have the last 15 seconds. You know, we see it in lots of cases, Vinny, over and over again. It's not just about the mental illness, but it's about those around it, the incumbency of them to intervene, to do something. The Crumblies, the, the parents of this young man, people have to do something before these tragedies rather than after and blame it on something in the media. All right, Kirk Nurmi, Nima Romani, Ekla Mercy, thank you all so much. We'll see you very, very soon. Awesome perspective, as always.